countdown to the road to Mayweather McGregor. Hey, Hi, Floyd. Matt Cole from Art Boys and the Mac Life. Uh, people love you and people absolutely despise you. Um, and but I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. If it's something negative about Floyd Mayweather. No, it isn't. No, I'm not, no, no, I'm not saying Sorry. you. But if it's something negative about me, they're going to write, they're going to put it on, they're going to put it on. That's going to be the main story you're going to see. Here's my perception of when it went from pretty boy Floyd Mayweather to money Mayweather. Uh, he was fighting Arturo Gotti. And the way that the HBO executive set it up was that, okay, Floyd, here's your crowning moment. Arturo Gotti is a very talented fighter, a very gritty fighter. He's not going to quit. He's not going to give up. He's going to give you his best shot. And Floyd, you put on a performance for the ages. You will become that guy. We will promote you. We will push you. And you're going to be revered and loved like the way Sugar Ray Leonard was, the way Muhammad Ali was, the way, the way Sugar Ray Robinson was, the way Joe Lewis was. You will be the African-American equivalent in boxing to what Michael Jordan was to basketball. That's how it was pitched. So when Floyd went out and he, he trash talked, he said he's an A fighter, Arturo Gatti's a B fighter, maybe a C plus fighter, and that you will see the difference in terms of the elite level of skill that I possess. To which in that fight, Floyd beat the brakes off, of, he beat the brakes off of Arturo Gatti. He beat the brakes off that man, right? It was just another level, another class, it was, it was mastery at its finest of pugilism. But the problem wasn't the performance by Floyd. It was who he had the performance against. He had the performance of his life, a dominating performance against the number one baby face good guy of boxing. Everyone loved Arturo Gatti. They loved his fighting spirit. They loved his grit. They loved his, his throw caution to the wind attitude, win at all costs attitude inside the ring. They loved him outside the ring. They loved to party with him. And when Floyd went in talking trash and he exposed this man and it wasn't a competitive fight, and it was a one-sided fight, the fans felt a certain type of way to which Floyd didn't understand. He didn't grasp. He thought, wait, hey, wait a minute. You guys are supposed to love me. But why are you booing me? Even look, when, remember when Floyd used to win? He used to say, I like to thank God. I think all things through him is possible. Floyd dropped to his knees. He would do a prayer. He would do all the things that the good guys used to do. But when he did it against Arturo Gotti, the fans said, we are not having it. You beat our guy. You embarrassed our guy. And we didn't pay for this. You screwed up our night. And Floyd was booed out of Atlantic City. And it got really, really bad as he was exiting, going to the tunnel, going back. You started to hear some of the uh, racial epithets coming from the Jersey Shore, coming from the fans in Jersey, coming from the fans in Atlantic City, right? Which is not a place where you surprise it's Jersey, it's in the North, but there are a lot of people who do not favor people of color in that area. And on that night, they did not favor Floyd for beating their hero. So... Floyd went back and was like, wait a minute. Why don't they like me? Why are they cheering this guy that goes out and parties, that goes out and drinks? Because it's known that Arturo Gatti used to party hard and, you know, used to get involved in a lot of things, fisticuffs at uh, parties, drinks. But they loved him. Nevertheless, whatever you may deem his character flaws in his past when he was living, God bless the dead. But Floyd didn't understand because Floyd don't, didn't drink, didn't smoke did everything live the Spartan lifestyle, but he couldn't understand why the fans appreciated Arturo Gotti and didn't appreciate him. The same way Daniel Cormier can't figure out why John Jones is appreciated and the fans don't appreciate him. It's that same mentality. So what Floyd decided to do was he decided, okay, if you're not going to love me for my mastery in this realm, I'm going to make you hate me. And the way that I'm going to make you hate me is I'm going to adopt the persona that antagonizes all of you fans in this arena, you Atlantic City sweat hogs that can't afford to rub two nickels together for your family, but you put them together for this bum that I just beat. Oh, Oscar De La Hoya, you can get it too. Ricky Hatton, you're going to get the same treatment too. Thus, 
the persona of Money Mayweather was born. And Vince McMahon even explained it to him. He said, listen, because a lot of folks don't know that Vince McMahon, yes, Vince McMahon, uh, chairman of the WWE, actually promoted boxing matches. Sugar Ray Leonard, Dolly, Donnie Lalonde, and a couple of others. He said to him, Floyd, you are so gifted and you are so talented, the fans can't understand that. So what you're going to have to do is if they're not going to pay to see your mastery, give them a reason to boo. Have them to pay to see you lose because you're undefeated. And so many people don't get how professional wrestling weaves its way and it threads its way through all forms of combat sport. But this is just the psychology of it.